author's point of view. That's it for today. Tomorrow is the last day of your assignment submit. So all those students who has yet to complete, complete it today. Mr. Kim, the professor of Vyan's class, said as he finished his lecture, Why is Mr. Kim so strict with us? This strictness doesn't suit his face at all. Rose, Vyan's best friend, said to Vyan when she heard the hung's word. Vyan looked at her miserable expression and laughed lightly. Why are you laughing? I know you are a good student and you complete your work before due date, but all are not like you. It's okay, Rose. I will help you with your assignment. Stop your tantrums. Vyan said while shaking his head. Still, I hate this handsome creature. He's not worth of this face. Yeah, I hate him too. Now come, let's go. Vyan said to make her friend feel good. Where did you put your assignment? That's in my locker. Come, let's grab it and we will do it in the library, Ryan said, and they both got the assignment and went inside the library to do it. Nearly 1.5 hours later, they complete the assignment. Finally, it's done. I have lost my hope of doing this assignment, but Ryan, you are the lifesaver. Love you. Rose said and gave Ryan a side hug. It's okay, we are friends and we should help each other. Now come, it's getting late. We should head home. Ryan said as he stood up from and pack her things. You're right. It's really late. While doing this, we lost the track of time. Rose also did her packing and walk out from the university to catch a bus to their respective houses. Vyan reached at her house, ring the bell, and wait for her husband to open the door. Yeah, Vyan is married, and it has been five months of her marriage. Her pa parents have fixed her marriage with her friend's son, even before she knew how to talk. And when she reached the age, her parents had a small wedding ceremony for two of them and didn't invite anyone, fearing this will affect their normal life. Since they lived with her husband and nobody knows about her marriage, not even her friend. Soon the door opened, revealing handsome face of Kim Baehang, aka Yan's husband. Come, professor. Yes, she had married her professor, but it has nothing to do with her. Her parents decide this for her. Not all ladies in the college who have eyes on the professor of theirs. Please spare Vyan's life after knowing this fact. Everything is fine. Why did you came late? They have asked in concern. I have Rose to complete her assignment. We were at the college library. Vyan said as she walked inside. It was an individual assignment. Why did she took your help? Her marks will be cut off. Tang said as she closed the door. There, stop being childish. Vyan said as she walked upstairs to fresh up. She walked out from her bathroom and saw her husband her her Tang's office bag on on the couch. She took the bag to get his lunchbox from it while opening his bag. You saw a pink note sticker on the side of the lunchbox attached in note. Mr. Kim, you are the most handsome man I have ever seen. I really like you a lot. Everybody in our college wants to be with me, but I have my eyes on you. Today I want to ask you if you are free tomorrow is my birthday so I want you to invite to my house for my birthday celebration. Hope you will not disappoint me. From Min Yurim. 
There was also a small invitation card attached to the note. Vyan took the note and card in her hands and walked down. She walked towards the sofa and her hand over the card to her husband to read. Here, you got a invited from your lovely students for a birthday party. Tahil saw Vyan's sore face and took the card from her hand with confused look. Where this, where did this came from? He sat and started reading. It came from your bag. The student of yours have put efforts to deliver the card to you. Vyan was.